Hey, what's going on guys? It's your man Chukubu Ikem and we have a very special thing going on right here on Korea AI. They actually have something called camera to image generation, which basically lets you use what's going on right now to make an image from scratch, which is really exciting. It's real time image generation, so you'll get constant updates as well. It's online, so you don't have to worry about using your actual PC or having a good PC to do this. And it's completely free to use, so it doesn't hurt your pocket. So definitely take some time time to check this out with me and hey if you end up liking the video then like the video it's very much appreciated and consider subscribing if you want more content like this I'm happy to help so when you hop into create AI you're gonna come up here and you're gonna click generate now typically whenever you open create AI and you go to generate you're going to get this blue this pink frog on a blue mushroom assuming that you haven't done anything yet that's the default that you'll get but when you click on the camera button right here it's going to try to incorporate what the camera is seeing into the picture so as you can see before it was vibrant but because my camera isn't really the best it's a little bit more dim a little bit more lower tones like uh well maybe you say drier tones or grayer tones i don't know but you see that's more mellow tone okay that's that's the word and and the more that I talk, the more that I move my hands, you can see the more that it changes and stuff like that. But obviously, this is not the weight of the whole project, right? I mean, we need something a little bit more specific to get the best out of this. So the beauty is that when you actually get rid of the prompt, it will see that you're a human, which is, you know, optimal. It's going to see that you're a human. Now, for some reason, it thinks I'm an Asian human. So, um, hiya. But you let the AI, you know, come up with what it comes up with by default. And I guess it thinks that I'm Asian. But if you want to make it more specific, all you got to do is give it a few prompts. So here we're going to type in African. Here we go. And you can see that it already began to generate something that is more like me, right? This is this is my heritage. I'm Nigerian. Shouts out to my brothers out there. And when you type in African, this is what you get. And obviously, the more the closer that you get in, the the closer, the more apparent your face will be. The further back that you go, and then if you adjust it like this, the further back that you go, you see it gives you more of a um a mid shot with your waist up just like what you're showing so it does get pretty cool and listen the more the more gestures that you do well it can affect what you get but as you can see if you want something more standard make sure to have a more standard look and what's beautiful is that you could do this with literally anything right I could type in Russian and you'll be you'll find that this prompt that these guys are not racist look at that so it literally doesn't matter whether you're black white spanish asian black brown you know yellow whatever it doesn't matter you will you can literally take your likeness your emotions and begin to create uh, pictures with ai i could even put hawaiian and look at that hawaiian it even oh nice it gave me a wreath and what else is cool is that i don't actually have to be in the frame i could always just move and it's going to base the image off of the background. So as you can see, it's taking the TV. If I put my hand here, though, it gives me a little bit, a little bit something different. If I put it overhead, now it gives you a little something different, which is really cool. And it works for images on your phone. So as you see, I'm actually going to move out of the frame and I'm going to put Elon's face there. And you see it'll it does adjust to Elon's face, although for some reason it's interpreting Elon as in, okay, cool, 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 cool. As an Asian, as a Hawaiian woman, which is awesome. So, and but but the funny thing is that if you get in too close, it won't, it'll stop interpreting it as Elon and start kind of taking it as the shape of the phone rather than the face on the phone as well. So you don't have to watch out for things like that, but that's camera to image AI, guys. I mean, this is groundbreaking stuff. Now, the only downsides that this plate that this has is number one it constantly keeps iterating so that you it's very hard to find a picture that you like and then get it immediately you would have to actually be screen recording this then you could grab a picture it also doesn't automatically download so if you want to download you would have to come to this button right here and click download image each time which is which is very less than optimal and it's very bad at gestures so if i put my hand up it's not really going to do a great job of that, but you can always add to the prompt so that it gets that right. So I'll show you right now. If I do African man with his hand up. Wow, oh, that's actually different. I didn't expect that at all. So you see that it actually, whoa, that actually made this way better because now it's like a hand in the thing. So 
Very interesting. So now you can see, because I prompted my hand up, it's following my hand. Now, of course, it does need a little bit of work in terms of getting the hand right, but the more accurate you prompt the gesture that you want, and then you do that gesture, the better the prompt will actually become. And I think you guys also noticed before, if you don't specify man, you can get pretty much anyone. Like right now, you see that's a woman. If you stay long enough, you'll get women, men, all this. It really doesn't matter. Sometimes you might even get um, both, like in the same thing. You might get a man with boobs or, or you know, a woman with a strong face. As again, so you see a woman again. So you really have to be specific in your prompts. And there are a few limitations. So, for example, I, I said a New York man standing on a pizza slice. Obviously, it doesn't see me standing, so it makes it very difficult for the camera to pick up something like that. But if I said New York man holding a pizza slice, you'll see that it does get a little bit easier for it to track. So things like that does make a difference. And for some of you non-suitable for work people out there, this also is uncensored. So you can actually put in um, some pretty raunchy stuff and you will still get these prompts. So there, you know, Kriya AI is doing a lot for free. Definitely hop on this. And you know, you can really have a lot of fun with this. I mean, you can even create your own AI avatars real time for yourself. And also understand that the that what you wear will affect what comes out in the end as well. So check this out. I'm gonna change my shirt and you'll see. So now you see I have red and that it's actually beautiful. The camera is able to pick that up and adjust accordingly. Wow, I'm looking pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, sweet. And and the background changes it a little bit as well. But yeah, man, I mean, there you have it. It's also worth mentioning that yes, this does work in the dark. And if you wanna add things around the camera or in the camera, it will adjust as well. As you can see, the more that I added stuff to the canvas, the more that it styled the prompt, which I thought was really awesome. And I did try to get it to work for me standing, but it also had a bit of a hard time doing the standing as well. I think it was a bit of a combination of it being too far away, along with it not maybe being meant for, being able to see a whole human, but it still didn't do a terrible job. You can definitely see that it added more of a standing posture to all of the new prompts. So yeah, and then you can see that it even added um, my hands up gestures in some of them. I even tried standing on the chair to get a better angle so that I could see my whole body, but still didn't work. But hey, we tried, right? That's what's important. What's also worth mentioning is that there are five style types and you can see them on the top right. Um, what you're looking at right now is the illustration style type. You see how it's like a portrait. It's very nice, kind of like a Leonardo da Vinci kind of painting. It's very nice. And then what you'll see next is the bloom one where it seems kind of like, like a picture with floral in the background. And then this is the product feature where you know whatever you use is going to look like a product and now this is the cinematic which is supposed to make it look a little bit more like a movie but the no style was the one that i liked the most because it just let the ai have free thought which i loved which i thought was so awesome that's camera to image generation i hope that you appreciated the video remember to like and subscribe it means a lot have a great day peace